Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem 274, which says that repeat problem 273, assuming that point A is located 15 degree north of west and that the barrel of the gun forms an angle of 25 degree with the horizontal. Now problem 273 says that a gun is aimed at point A and point A is located 15 degree north of west knowing that the barrel of the gun form an angle of 25 degree with the horizontal and the maximum recoil force is 400 we have to find the x y and z components of the recoil force and the angles of the recoil force with the positive x y and z axis now we are given that point a is located 15 degree north of west so the angle should be with the west uh, and in the problem 273 we are also given that assume that the x y and z axis are directed respectively east up and south so x is towards east so this is our x and y axis in the up so this is y axis and z is towards the south so this is z and this is in the south so so this will be our north north east south and this is west now in this problem it is said that point a is located 15 degree north of west so the angle need to be 55 degree with the west so we need to have the angle like this so this angle is 15 degree so point a is located somewhere here let's say point a is somewhere here point a is located in this plane and this plane the ed this edge of the plane is making 15 degree north of west so this angle is 15 degrees and point a is somewhere here and further it is said that the barrel of the gun form an angle of 25 degrees so now if the gun is pointing out in this direction so its barrel is going to make a 25 degree angle with the horizontal so this is the horizontal so this means that the barrel is in the the direction of the barrel is like this let's say towards point a so this is the barrel of the gun direction and we are given the magnitude of the recoil force so the maximum recoil force is 400 newton so if the barrel is pointing out in this direction so the, the recoil force will always be in the opposite direction so we have to find the components of the recoil force so this will be our recoil force the recoil force will be from a towards origin like this this will be our recoil force and this force has a magnitude of 400 newton this is given and this angle is this angle is uh, 25 degree this is 25 degrees now we can resolve this force into its components so we will have one component in the negative y like this and we will have one component like this so this will be f of y and this component will be the horizontal component since it is lying in the horizontal plane that is on the ground so we can say that let me draw the f of y so this will be we can draw f of y component here as well so this will be our f of y we can say it we can draw it here or we can draw it here so this is f of y and then we will have f h we will have the f h like this so this this is f of y and this is f h and f of y is in the negative y this is the positive y so this is in the negative y so we can write that this is f of y this is f h now if we consider f of y here and this is f h so f h is the cos component since it is attached to the angle and this one is the sine component so we can say that f y is the sine component so we can say that f y is 400 sine of 25 degrees and similarly f h is the cos component so that is 400 cos of 25 degrees and f of y is in the negative y so we need to put minus sign so this is minus f of y is minus 400 sine of 25 similarly we can resolve this f h into two rectangular components 
So we will have one component in this direction that uh, we will have one component in this direction that is in the parallel to the z axis and then we will have one component in the positive x direction or towards the east. So we will have one component like this and we will have one component like this and these are the rectangular components the angle between both of them is 90 degree remember right since this is this is parallel to the z-axis and this is parallel to the x-axis so the angle between uh, both of them is 90 degrees remember if we look from the top then we will have the fh like this this will be our fh and this will be fz and this will be fx so the angle between both of them is 90 degrees so this one is this one is fz and this one is fx fz and this is fx now again f fx is adjacent to the angle attached to the angle so fx is the cos component of fh and fz is the sine component of fh so we can say that fx is fh cos of 15 degrees and similarly fz is fh sine of 15 degrees and fz is in the positive z and fx is in the positive x so both of them are positive now we know that fh is 400 cos of 25 so we need to put it here so fx will be 400 cos of 25 cos of 15 degrees and similarly fh here is 400 cos of 25 sine of 15 degrees so now we can say that f of y is minus 400 sine of 25. So this is minus f y is minus 169 pounds. Uh, sorry, this is in Newton. Since the recoil force is given in Newtons. Similarly, f x is 400 cos of 25 cos of 15. This is 350. Fx is 350 Newton. Similarly, f of y is 400 cos of 25 sine of 20 sine of 15. So this is 94 approximately. So 94 Newton. So now we can write this recoil force as a Cartesian vector. So we will have the Fxi plus fyj plus fzk now fx is 350 i fy is negative so minus 169 j and plus 94k so this is the cartesian vector representation of that recoil force and now we want to find the angle of this recoil force with the positive x y and z axis so now we know that fx in terms of theta x theta y and theta z we can always write fx is f cos of theta x fy is equal to f cos of theta y and fz is f cos of theta z since theta x theta y and theta z are the angles of the given force with x y and z axis respectively and similarly fx fy and fz these are the components along these axis so as we know that fx will be attached to theta x so this will be the cos component similarly fy will be attached to theta y so this will be the cos component and similarly fz is the cos component as well so in order to observe these angles we need to put the tail of this recoil force at the origin since we have the head so in order to observe the direction we need to put it here so then this will be our theta x this will be our theta y so as we can see that theta x will be smaller that will be less than 90 degrees theta y will be more than 90 degrees from this we can observe like this right and similarly the z axis will be like this
so this will be theta z and why i'm saying that fx fy and fz are the cost components so if we project a line onto the x-axis if if this line is perpendicular to the x-axis so we will have fx like this right so this will be our fx and if this is theta x so fx is attached to theta x so we can say that this fx is the f cause of theta x similarly if we drop a perpendicular from this recoil force onto the y-axis let's say let's say this is my y-axis so this will be my perpendicular so then this will be f of y f of y will be in this direction and this will be theta y so again f of y will be attached to theta y so that will be the cost component as well and similarly if we drop a perpendicular from this onto the z-axis so this will be f of z and this will be theta z so fz will be the cost component as well so now from from these three equations we can say that uh, cause of theta x is fx divided by f cause of theta y is fy divided by f and cause of theta z is f z divided by f now we can say that theta x is cos inverse and fx is 350 and f is 400 similarly theta y is cos inverse fy is minus 169 and f is 400 theta z is cos inverse and fz is 94 and the magnitude is 400 the force magnitude is 400 so now the theta x is 28.95 or we can say that this is approximately 29 degrees similarly um, theta y is minus 169 divided by 400 so that is approximately 115 degrees and similarly theta z is 94 divided by 400 so that is 76.4 degrees so now this recoil force is making 29 degrees with the positive x-axis so this angle is theta x 29 degrees it is making 115 degrees with the positive y and it is making 76.4 degrees with the positive z-axis so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston